Hi, it's me again with Corona Oil Tips and Tricks. I just did part one on this, how to put the palm trees in there. And now we're going to make this part of the logo look like this part of the logo. Really pretty simple. We've got the top part of the logo done, so I'm going to make a duplicate and move it down two inches. I moved it down an inch at a time. I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of these boxes because I'm going to make new boxes anyway. We want the box to be the thickness of the G of the E. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a, well, we could actually measure it. Uh, see if we can get a good measurement on it. It is 0.16. So I'm going to make a rectangle. With my ratio unlocked, I'm going to make it 0.16. Now I need to figure out how long to make it. So I'm going to, these logos are about the same size. So I'm going to go there and then I'm just going to kind of shorten it. You know, it's going to be yours now, so it doesn't really matter. You're going to want to put that right on that. Uh, you know what we're going to do first? We're going to control G to group that and we're going to go C, E. And that way it put the line right in the center of our logo. But you know what? It's going to be a little bit long. Let's do this. Let's bring in indexing lines and kind of match it up with this logo. So let's bring this logo in and we'll just match it up to that. And I could have done this instead of using the CE. So that's good to go. Now, holding down the control button when you move this, so it'll go perfectly up and down, we're gonna put it right there. Now there are Five, but the last one has to go past one, two, three, four, five. The last one has to go past the G or the goose quite a bit. So we're going to change our nudge factor and just keep remembering. Well, I'm going to use one. So hit the plus key on your keyboard and then move this up just ever so slightly. About there. Hold down the shift key and select both of them. Go up to effects and blend, and we're going to blend three times. That made them all perfectly equal. Now, we want to go up to effects and break the blend apart. Now, what we need to do is uh, figure out an angle, and we can actually go off this other logo and draw a two-point line kind of on that angle. So we're going to call that good. We're going to take that angle and put it right there on that node. I'm going to hit the plus key on the keyboard. I'm going to mirror it. I'm going to hit that one and put it right there. You see what I'm doing? Now, there's a couple of different things we could do. Uh, we don't want, you know, we want the, this part of the logo pretty far off of it. So I'm going to draw a perpendicular line. I am going to put it right next to the G. I want to change my nudge factor like 0.25. And I'm going to nudge that line over. Whoop. Forgot how little we're working with. Let's go 0.1. And let's just nudge that over a little bit. And that's probably still a little bit much. Let's go 0 0.05. And let's nudge that line over. Now let's make a duplicate of that line and put it all the way to this side of the letter and nudge it over that point. Now, we don't, we don't want the top line to interfere because we want it to go into the G and into the E. We don't want this line there because we want it to leak. So I think we're good to go with our smart field now. And I am going to take my smart field tool and fill that in Fill that in, fill that in, fill that in, and fill that in. I could actually have saved that last one to last because we're going to have to do something. Now I'm going to delete these lines. You know, you could just go through here and um, right-click no outline. They're still kind of there. You know, if we look at it in a wireframe, but as long as you're just engraving this, they're not going to they're not going to cause a problem anyway. So that looks pretty good. Now we need to make a star. So we'll make a star about that size. 
We're going to go ahead and take this one and left click, right click. And then we're going to bring in our star. We want the star. See, I made a mistake in the very first one I did. Um, I've got a little bit of a indention in the, in the, in the O of goose where this one doesn't. So I need to keep that in the factor. We're going to have it about right there uh, with goose. Uh, but I want it to be maybe up a little bit. So let me nudge it up just a hair. I'm going to take the star and there's a, there's really, you know what, instead of contouring it, let's just do this. Let's just take a two point line and let's just draw that line and then let's nudge it over. Let's hit a duplicate of that line. Let's mirror it. Well, I didn't hit duplicate. Control D, mirror it, and then put that line. Whoop. Still had my line drawing tool. Get the pick tool and grab it with that four point cross. Put it on there and nudge it over. That's going to be our stopping point for our smart fill. And then you can get rid of this line with the virtual segment delete key, or we could have just deleted them and then take the smart fill tool and fill that in. And then as always go through here and right click no outline. And there you have that logo. Now we can delete this. And because we've nudged an inch, we'll put it back to an inch and we'll nudge this back twice. If you remember. So I think we're good to go. You know, I would, and like I said, it all depends on how, how, how big this is going to be. You know, she's already told me she's engraving it on, on leather. So I don't think it's going to be that big at all. And uh, so I think that'll work. The only other thing that you might want to do is to left click, right click. Uh, let's break the, break this apart. Can we only... Well, I guess we could just left click and right click the whole thing. Well, I'm getting that line. There we go. Well, let's see what if I hit delete, see what happens. Somehow I'm trying to get the color. There we go. There we go. You could actually safely, might be better to go ahead and delete that line. And then at this time, you could actually clean it up a little bit. Let's do that. Left click, right click, get rid of that line. That way it's going to bleed better in, in case there's too, you know, a little path there. Uh, I did pretty good on that. I'm pretty happy. And then just take the smart fill tool and this should fill it all in. And I think you're good to go. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.